Last week I challenged you all to model the companion cube from Portal and it's fair to say that you all nailed it. Here's how I do it. Start with a reference image, bring in a cube and scale it up to match the grey section of the reference. In edit mode, subdivide the cube, select the top leftmost face, invert the selection with Control i and delete the rest of the faces. Subdivide our isolated face 9 times, selecting the edge third from the bottom and third from the right as well as the perimeter edges, invert the selection and dissolve the edges. Selecting the interior edges, bevel them to create the detail as seen on our reference and use the knife tool to cut the square in half and delete the right side. Bring in an empty, add a mirror modifier to our triangle and set the mirror object to our empty and rotate the empty negative 45 degrees. Bring in a cylinder, change the vert count to 48, rotate it 90 degrees along the x axis, pull it along the y axis until it clips with our square and run a ball lean operation. Put the ball lean at the top of the modifier stack, bring in another mirror modifier and set it to the x and z axes. We can dissolve the unneeded vertex and space out the grouping at the top. Cut in two verts on the outer edge, join these to create quads, cut in another vert near the center for the inner rectangle detail subdivide the top edge twice and create a triangle. Space out the verts, cut in an additional three verts on the outer edge and join those to create more quads. Change the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor, select the top leftmost faces and scale them out to match the reference. Select the top leftmost vert, use shift s to set our 3D cursor to selected and scale once more to adjust the profile. Use shift c to reset the 3D cursor, select the outer middle faces, s to scale and use shift z to scale on every axis other than the z axis and match to the inner curve of the reference. Cut in a loop, join it with the triangle select the middle two edges, double tap G for an edge slide, then press E, then F to snap the slide to the inner edge. Delete the exterior faces to save hassles later down the track. Extrude the middle vert to the middle of the reference, select the middle vert and the inner leftmost vert, fill an edge and then use F to fill in a face. Press I to do an inset, then B to inset to bounds and match the circle with our reference. Space out the verts, select the edge along the pink detail, change the pivot point back to the bounding box and scale zero along the Z axis. Select the pie segment and extrude it to add some depth, bevel the outer edge and add an inset for a supporting edge. Inset the middlemost face, push it along the y axis and inset it again to create a support loop. Set the shading to smooth, slap on a subdiv modifier, clean up any of the other interior faces and crease up all of the hard edges with a crease value of 0.55. Select the outer edge and mark them with a sharp as this will make them easier to select later. Select the three innermost circular edges and run a loop tool circle operation to make them more circular. In object mode use shift D to duplicate, rotate 90 degrees about the x axis and use shift R to repeat that action. Then do two additional duplications about the Z axes. Making sure to hide our ball lean mesh, select everything with A, shift select the face and use Control J to join all the meshes together. In edit mode, select everything and merge by distance. Select a single sharp edge, use shift G and select similar by sharpness and then use Control B to bevel the edges. With the bevel selected, use shift H to isolate them, select a triangle face, select similar by polygon sides and crease with 0.55. Finally, select similar by sharps again, remove the sharps, then crease with 0.55 and now you have a trusty companion cube buddy.